It's been pretty obvious for a while now that the Trump-Russia story is essentially bogus. There are some criticisms you could level at the Trump administration, maybe a few of them, but collaborating with Vladimir Putin is not on that list. So why are the other news channels still behaving like the stupid little conspiracy tale is the moral equivalent of the Nuremberg trials? Well, until this morning, we could only speculate, and we did, but now we know for sure. James O'Keefe's Project Veritas released a new video in which a CNN producer called John Bonifield explained the entire deal and admitted the network's coverage was, quote, BS. Watch. Honestly, you'd, you'd think the whole Russia is just like bull****. Could be bull****. I mean, it's mostly bull****. Right now, like, we don't have any big giant proof. The more I see that, I'm constantly like, Russia this, Russia that. There's this ratings. Those ratings. Our ratings are incredible right now. The ratings are incredible. Never mind that the core story is untrue or that it's a distraction from important events actually taking place in the world or that maybe most important, it's hamstringing our foreign policy to the point where America's vital interests are suffering as a result. Who cares? It's ratings gold. And that's all that matters. According to Bonifield, CNN President Jeff Zucker actually ordered his reporters to get off real news and back to Russia because, hey, it's a cash cow. So, my boss, I shouldn't say this, my boss, a couple of days yesterday, we were having a discussion about this dental shoot, and he goes, he's like, I just want you to know what we're up against here. And he goes, just to give you some context, President Trump pulled out of the climate accords, and for a day and a half he covered the climate accords, and the CEO of CNN said in our internal meeting, he said, good job everybody covering the climate accords, but we're done with it, let's get back to Russia. <laughs> The, the CEO? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, so even the climate accords, he was like, okay, a day or so, but we're, we're moving back to Russia. Yeah, good luck explaining something complicated like science. Now, in case you're wondering whether the tape you just saw is real, and you might wonder, we should tell you that CNN is not even contesting its veracity, nor are they backing away from it in any way. A real news outlet might feel an obligation to explain itself, having just been caught pushing a bogus conspiracy, in exchange for more advertiser dollars, but not CNN. Instead, they issued a statement briefly in support of the producer in question. Here's what it says, quote, diversity of personal opinion is what makes CNN strong and we welcome and embrace it. Of course, diversity. Say the word five times and all is forgiven. It's like magic, the progressive equivalent of the witch's spell. The irony though, of course, is that diversity of thought is exactly what is missing in the American media at this moment. Almost every reporter in Washington is hot on this Russia story. Those who dissent are attacked by their peers as collaborators, collaborating either with Trump or more ominously with Putin himself. The result is to make everyone in the press dumber and much more credulous. Just yesterday, CNN had to fire three of its reporters after they published a bogus story attempting to connect Trump associate Anthony Scaramucci with the Russian government. Now, the piece was clearly wrong, thinly sourced, and puffy. And yet, this is the interesting part, no other American news outlets caught it. In the end, that story was exposed by something called Sputnik News. That's a media company literally owned by the Russian government, ironically. So the question is, where were the watchdogs in our own press? Well, they were, of course, hypnotized by their own preconceptions. The story confirmed their biases, therefore it had to be true, even when it wasn't. And by the way, it's not just CNN. Remember that in December, the Washington Post claimed Russian intelligence had literally hacked our power grid in this country. Now, that story was totally false in every detail. The Washington Post published it anyway. Slate.com, meanwhile, ran a piece claiming the Trump Organization had a secret server connection to Russia. That turned out to be false, too, published anyway. Even reliable old C-SPAN, probably the straightest news outlet in the world, great people there, but it still got caught up for just a second in the Red Scare itself in January. They claim to have been hacked by the Russian media. Never happened. Now, part of this is just hysteria, that moment when you convince yourself that the monsters under your bed are real. But part of it is more sinister than that. It's the conscious decision to tell your viewers what they want to hear, even when you know the core story is wrong. That's called corruption, and it's happening, and these tapes show it's happening. 